Hi guys, Nancy here. Today we're going to do something different. I'm going to actually, I'm going to show you how to make a no-sew dog collar. That's what I got here. This I made earlier. It's a no-sew dog collar that uses snaps. So there's nothing here that you have to have a sewing machine for. It's like super easy and I will list down below where you can find the hardware, okay? All the hardware, the D-rings, the snaps, the webbing, um, this here, this is your double-sided tape, this whole set, which is the crimper, the poker, and then your snaps, okay? I will list all that down below, and the ribbon, of course, you can find in my store. So today you're going to need a pair of scissors, your snaps, a torch lighter. I prefer a torch lighter because it heats up the poker faster. A hair clip, your dog hardware, your D-ring, a charm if you want to put that on there, and your snap set, and your double-sided tape. You're going to today I'm going to make a small collar. And I will list the different sizes below, okay? And where you can find all this stuff. So we're gonna start off with making sure that you melt the ends of your webbing and your ribbon, okay? You wanna make sure that those are definitely sealed. Then we're gonna take our double-sided tape. And I usually just eyeball the size and then just tear it off, tear it off at the end. Okay, so you have this long piece now. All right, and then I take the end of my ribbon and I overlay some of it, okay, and then turn it over. All right, whoops, the lighter stuck. And then I just start following right down the middle of the webbing. Like I said, I will put a link to where I get my webbing. I get my webbing and my hardware from the same place. And I've been getting it from them for years. They have different colors that you can choose from for the webbing. It's a great place. I've been dealing with them for years. Okay, you get to the end. You're going to flip it over. Now, I don't need all that. So I'm going to cut off some of that, and that's when we use our scissors that are not for fabric. Okay, pinch that down, and then we just want to go back over it. Just, you know, run our finger across it, push down, just to make sure that's nice and sealed. Okay, all right, now you want to start peeling off from the back side and take your your ribbon that has been heat sealed of course push it on there and then flip it over and now we're going to start just putting it right on this tape okay just get it on the tape and just start going down And if you get it off, you know, you can lift it up. It's, it's no big deal. This is like, it's a temporary collar. It's not a permanent. And we're not doing that today. So, yeah, use it for the holiday and then take it off and put your other collar back on and wear. See how I messed up on that? And then I just pull it back up and replace it. Okay. Get rid of that excess. All right. And now I'm going to burn that because I took that off of there. So I want to make sure that it's sealed. Okay, look it. There you go. All right, next step. Next step. We're going to put in our buckle adjuster. Okay, flip it over. Now I measure... When I do my collars, my sizes, 
I measure this first one two inches. So we want to make sure that that's at two inches. Okay, we got two inches there. Okay, this is when the hair clip comes in. And clip that down. See, that's holding it in place. Now we're going to go ahead and use the torch. And we're going to use our poker. So we're just going to heat this up. Okay, until it's nice and hot. And we're going to figure out where we want our hole. And just poke it through. I twist it a little bit. Alright, now we can get rid of our clip. Next is we're going to add our snaps. Okay, so the first snap, you want to pick up the one that has the pointed tip on it. Can you see that? The pointed tip. We're going to put it through the top. And then it doesn't matter if you pick the male or the female to put on here first. It, that does not matter. Okay, just set it on top and take your press and you want to put the clear end. You see there's a black at the bottom and clear at the top. The clear end is going to go at the top of your snap. Okay, and just push till you feel it. It, it, it. You'll feel it give. And what it's done is it's taken that pointed part and it's smashed it down. So it's not going anywhere. Now you want to take and get another point. You're going to need 12 in total of these snaps to do this project. Now I need to use the other end the female end on the other one and just put that over that okay and push and there it is you've made a snap there you go look it yay okay and now we're going to do the other end so now face your collar with the pattern up you're going to flip it over and you're going to get out your bar. It's just a bar that helps with the sizing. Slide that on. Then you're going to use your buckle part and this is the female end. It's only got one slot, okay? So you're going to put that up through there. And then you're going to take this end and you're going to put it back through the bar. Okay. And then it's going to go in this one here. And then you've got two sides. And then you have to put it down through that one there. And so this is what you have so far. Okay. So now we're going to face this back towards us again. And this is when you're going to add your D-ring. This is your D-ring. So you're going to face it so that it's towards you so that it's a D. And you want to make sure that your charm is facing up towards you. Okay? So we're going to come up and over. Okay? So see that? Up and over. Then we're going to add the male part of our buckle. And this one has the two slots. So we're going to go up and then down. Okay? So if you lay that down, this is what you have. Okay? Got it? Alright. Now, you need to figure out there is no measurement for this. This is just a guessing. You need to figure out where you're going to put your D-ring because you need a space. Okay? You need a space in between. So you're going to have a snap on one side and a snap on the other with your D-ring in the middle. Okay? So you need to figure out how much rim you need. So I'm going to say right there. 
I'm going to say right there on this one and I'm going to put my hair clip right there right at the end okay so I'm going to go right in the middle of that D ring two fingers see that All right so we're going to do our first hole over here so we need to get our torch and our poker and the poker does come with the set the snap set all right now just make sure that's even and put it through careful not to get your fingers in there okay all right there's our hole and then we're going to go ahead and take that off and we're going to go ahead and add our snap to our first hole all right so put our snap in and the um the pack the 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 link that i gave you for the snap set th there's so many different colors and it comes all you get all the colors so you don't have to choose you get all the colors i think there's three or four hundred different ones okay so put it on there you'll feel it go down and there you go that's the one side it's got the male part up your other snap put it in there and this one's going to have the female part get my fingers stuck in there okay get the female part oh I got the collar in there get out of there Ugh. okay push down oh, I think I need to push down a little bit further it's because that collar was in there okay push down and snap that together all right now we've added our first snap now we're going to bring our D ring forward make sure it's in between okay you want to make sure it's in between those two because you're going to snap that together now we're going to do our next I'm going to put the clip back on there just to hold it in place now we're going to add our next hole You want to do this more towards the end there. More towards the end. See that? Okay. Get our snap. The spiky part snap. And then we're going to get our nail end. Set it on there our machine Just lay it over there You'll feel it compress okay there's that one now we need our other snap spiky part and then we need our female end We've got our male now we need our female D ring up in there snap it closed and guess what you've just made a dog collar without sewing one look at that look at that great for 4th of July Yay! so there you have it got all your parts and pieces and here's the bigger one that I made earlier so you've got your 5 8 inch patriotic collar and your 1 inch patriotic collar well guys I hope you have fun doing this project so easy just you can whip these things out so fast 
So if you like this video, please subscribe, hit that like button, and have a great 4th of July. Bye-bye.